actually i pronounced the word i pronounced his name gagol actually this is his pet name at home we call him by this name only he is trying to explain right but his good name good name means official name okay good name is official name public name so but his good name should be is should be or uh, is means he is hesitating he is also confused so he nods his head firmly but now he shows that he is confident so he says firmly nick here his pet name is gagor but his official or good name is nick here mrs lapidus frowns she feels a bit irritated a little bit angry i'm afraid and she says i'm afraid i don't understand good name what do you say good name what do you mean by good name and pet name means why are you required to give two names to your child let me know yes mrs lapidus studies the registration form so before we proceed let's discuss the question has the writer clearly explained how gogol feels has he given clear interpretation when his father talks to him in english yes go on gogol he says tell mrs lapidus how old are you he is trying to explain each and everything to gogol very clearly so the but yet he understand we understand what is going through his mind but still his mind means his father's mind means ashok ganguly's mind he inwardly a duel is going on in his mind whether the child will be comfortable or not right but he is trying to pretend he is trying to pretend show outwardly so how does the writer show that yes this sentence is the answer the writer tries to address his son by calling him gogol by calling him nikhil and gogol he is trying to explain so in a careful accented english go on gogol tell mrs lapidus how old you are in this way he is trying to explain he is trying to justify right so now number 13 mrs lapidus studies the registration form once again mrs lapidus goes through the registration form she has not had to go through this confusion with the other two indian children in the school means before gogol's entry two more indian children had got their admission to the same school so she is thinking in the case of previous two students it did not happen this kind of confusion did not arise so she is confused she opens up the folder and examines the immunization record and the birth certificate yeah this is the mistake ashok ganguly committed he did not explain to the principal beforehand right so the principal wanted to get it confirmed so she opened the folder once again and had a look at the two document at two documents ashok ganguly had produced right one is birth certificate and second is immunization record and on that what was written gagal gagal ganguly look so there seems to some there seems to be some confusion right mr ganguly she says according to these document your son's legal name is gagal right mr ganguly your son according to these documents your son's legal name is gagal how can you say that his official name is nikhil because on the documents you have produced they bear the name gagal not nikhil means some formalities are to be there that's correct but please allow me to explain i know ma'am i know that on these documents gagal is there not nikhil but let me explain if you just allow me what do you want to explain that uh, you want us to call him nikhil only this you want we people you want us to call him by the name nikhil yeah yeah that that's correct mrs lapidus knows means in disagreement type she moves she jerks her head the reason being she wanted to complete a sentence but somehow she stopped the reason being that is our wish means she wanted to ask indirectly what is the reason 
why do you want to give this name to your child one more name to your child actually ma'am this is our wish our wish means we bengali people have got this custom i'm not sure i follow you mr ganguly actually mr ganguly i am not getting what you are trying to explain right do you mean that nikhil is a middle name generally it happens first name middle name last name like this ravi kumar verma ravi is first name kumar is middle name and verma is last name so like this she is she is confirming so nikhil is a middle name or a nickname what do you want to explain many of the children go by nicknames here why do you need to give him another name pet name instead of pet name another name good name or official name please explain on this form there is a space you may still explain it in the space provided in the registration form no 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 it is not a middle name ashok says ashok says no ma'am you may be mistaken this is not his middle name right this is going to be its official name right students okay okay so but uh, mrs lap the boy's good name no no it's not a middle name he is trying to justify ashok says he is beginning to lose patience a little bit impatient he looks because over and again the principal is asking is asserting on the new name the significance requirement of this new name so the boy's good name his school name he is explaining his official name good name school name is nikhil this is not his middle name right but uh, mrs lapidus presses her lips means it shows that she is confused together and smiles but still she does not show her irritation and in a smiling way she says something but clearly he doesn't respond but mr ganguly let me know what the significance of calling the child by this name when your child is not at all responding by this name nikhil so why do you want let's switch to next page dear students right please mrs lapidus ashok says the child's father says please mrs lapidus it is very common for a child to be confused at first he is trying to justify saying this right this is common this is but natural i assure you he will grow accustomed means he will be used to he will be practiced yes he will be quite comfortable in the due course of time right so don't worry about that he bends down and this time in bengali means the child's father bends down means he is trying to explain each and everything say something to his child in an affectionate way right and this time in bengali earlier he was speaking to his child in english accented english but now in his own language bengali he is saying calmly and quietly in a very patient way quiet way he is asking gogol ask gogol to please answer when mrs lapidus ask a question beta what happened what's wrong with you why are you being nervous why are you losing your nerve so please whatever your principal ma'am is asking you respond to her you know everything okay don't worry about anything he is trying to tell these things to his child in a very affectionate way don't be scared don't be afraid don't be nervous gogol gogol means affectionately he is using this name right he says raising his son's chin with his finger yes beta look at me tell me what happened you are a big boy now yes you are not a small child my brave beta my brave child look look what happened are you comfortable don't worry about anything in this way he is trying to make his child comfortable though mrs lapidus does not understand a word she listens carefully and hears that name again gagal the principal 
Mrs. Lapidus is not understanding anything. She once again listens. Once again, she catches the child's father using the same name, Gagal, lightly in pencil. But without being noticed, she note she notes down something on the registration form, right? With a pencil. So in pencil, she writes it down. Dear students, in pencil, whenever we are using anything to write in ink, if we are using pen, we use in ink, and if we are using pencil, we use in preposition. Okay, lightly in pencil, she writes it down on the registration form. Google that name in this. Okay, because Ashok Ganguly has had not mentioned this name on the registration form. Ashok hands over the lunch box and a windbreaker in case it gets cold. Windbreaker is a kind of jacket type, right? To protect, to protect cold wind, to protect cold means jacket, winter jacket, right? So Ashok Ganguly, while leaving, he is ready to leave now. So he hands over lunch box and this jacket, and he thanks Mrs. Lapidus. Be good, Nikhil. Nikhil, take care, be good to all, okay, he says in English and then after a moment's hesitation, he is gone, he is gone means he has left, okay, when they are alone, Mrs. Lapidus asks, now when the child's father has left, Mrs. Lapidus comes to the child, yes, Peter, she is trying to interact with the child, when he is gone, right? When they are alone, they both were alone, means Mrs. Lapidus and the child Gagol. Are you happy to be entering elementary school, Gagol? Now, she is also using the same name, not Nikhil, but Gagol, because she wants to make the child comfortable in this school. She wanted to win his confidence, win his faith. So, very affectionately, she is asking whether the child is feeling comfortable in new school or not, feeling good or not. My parents, the child in a childish way, the ch child girl says, my parents want me to have another name in school. I do not know why they want it. So, in the childish way, the child says, okay, beta, you are talking about your father, your mother, your parents, but Please let me know how you feel. You tell me about yourself. And what about you, Gogo? Means, what about? Don't think of your parents right now. Think of yourself. Do you want to be called by another name? Means, are you comfortable with Gogo? Are you comfortable with Nikhil? Are you comfortable with both the names? You tell me. Frankly, be frank and tell me. After a pause, a little stop means the child stopped a while and he shakes his head. He doesn't speak, but he, in this way, this is nodding, right? Shaking head. Is that a no, beta? I didn't get you are shaking your head in this way. So, what do you mean by this? Okay, let me tell. Then it is settled. Can you write your name on this piece of paper? So it is settled now. It is finalized now. So can you write? Do you know how to write? Can you write your name on this piece of paper? She gives the piece of paper to the child. Okay. So Gagal picks up a pencil, grips it tightly and forms the letters of the only word he has learned thus far means so far to write from memory getting the L backward due to nerves means the child is getting nervous. So in the other way round the child wrote the letters and the child is feeling uncomfortable while scribbling something on the piece of paper given to him by the prince. Okay. So what beautiful penmanship you have. Mrs. Lapidus says she tears up, right? Pen, men, ship means handwriting. What beautiful, wow, beta, to boost up, to encourage the child, right? To make the child confident. The principal is saying, wow, what a beautiful handwriting you have, beta. Mrs. Lapidus says, 
she tears up the old registration form and asks Mrs. McNam, you know, to type up a new one. So, that old registration form is cancelled, a new registration form is being prepared. Then she takes Gagol by the hand, holding his hand, right? And they walk down a hallway with painted cement walls. She opens, means these lines explain the atmosphere, ambience of the school. She opens a door and Gogol is introduced to his teacher. In a classroom, she takes the child, she takes Gogol, right? And a teacher was there, right? She opens a door and Gogol is introduced to his teacher, Miss Watkins. Miss Watkins is the teacher, a woman with hair in two braids. Braids means two plates like, right? Choti. So, wearing overalls and clocks, long dress she was wearing inside the classroom. It is a small universe of nicknames. Beta, feel comfortable. Don't worry. All these children are having the same nickname. Means, same means whatever the nickname they have got, only that name they are being called out in the school. So, do not feel uncomfortable. This is the universe means a kind of world, the child's world because he is supposed to spend his future remaining days in this school. Remaining means next few days, right? In this class. Andrew, look, now she is explaining. Inside the classroom, it is a small universe of nicknames like Andrew is known as Andy, Alexandra, Sandy, William, Billy, Elizabeth, Lizzie, it is nothing like the schooling the girls' parents have known fountain pens and polished black shoes. Means this is not a formality, merely sending your children to a school in new uniform, polished shoes, lunch box, all these are secondary things. But the main thing is we have to win the child's confidence first. She lays stress on being practicality, right? So, fountain pens and fountain pens means you have to fill in the form, registration form. This is just a formality. This is not as important. Polish black shoes and notebooks. These are formalities, right? And good names, <laughs> official name, right? And so, or madam at a young age. And at a young age, ma'am or sir titles are... So, the, so, dear children, let us discuss this question. So, dear students, at the end of his first day, he is sent home with a letter to his parents from Mrs. Lapidus, principal, right? When the school was over, means the child's first day was over, the child was sent back home and in his bag, in the child's bag, a letter was kept. And who kept it? The principal herself, explaining that due to their son's preference, he will be known as Gagol at school. The principal explained everything that your child does not want to be known by the name Nikhil, but he prefers to be called by the name Gagol. This she writes, Ashima and Ashok means the child's mother and the child's father Ashok wonder shaking their heads means they are confused means when they went through the content of the letter when the child got back home the child told his parents that a letter our principal ma'am has given a letter for you please read it she told me to show this letter to you so when the child's parents went through the content they were confused but since neither of them feels comfortable pressing the issue, means they did not want to make an issue that this child, this name should be there, this is Nikhil and this is Gagol. This kind of issue they did not want to create. They have no choice but to give in. Give in is a phrasal verb, means surrender. So ultimately they had to surrender, right? The child's name was Gagol only, they also agreed. And so, Gagol's education begins. Now, Gagol's formal education begins at the top of sheets of scratchy pale yellow paper. 
he writes out his pet name again and again in this way he is practicing means scribbling the child is taught how to write how to scribble a b c alphabets math science math or gk common questions right so again and again as well as the alphabet in capital capital letter beta a for apple b for boy c for cat like this capital as well as small letters so alphabets were and lower case lower case means small letter he learns to add and subtract i told you maths mathematics basic mathematics was arithmetic was also taught to the child addition subtraction and to spell his first words in this way also means he was taught how to read on the front covers of his textbooks he writes his name in pencil you know name sheet is there on the cover page so the child was taught in art class his favorite hour of the week this is just common he carves his name with paper clips into the bottoms of clay cups and bowls this kind of activities are going on means clay is there and the child is to use the clay to form different different shapes art class is there so he pastes uncooked pasta on to cardboard and leaves his signature in fat brush strokes below painting so whatever the painting the child makes and thereafter in his childish way the child writes his name what name not nikhil gagol gagol ganguly right so day after day he brings his creations home to ashima so whatever he is learning he brings that same thing to his home and shows the same thing to his mother ashima who hangs them proudly on the refrigerator door so this is a common place and she is very happy it suggests that she is very happy and she displays everything on the refrigerator door and what was the signature look, look leave the leaves the signature and signature is gogol g means gogol ganguly he signs his work in the lower right hand corner as if there were a need to distinguish him from any other gogol in the school in this way the try the child tries to look different from other children and he prefers to be known by his pet name gogol ganguly and he wants this name to be his official name to be his good name also so dear students let's discuss your internal questions a few internal questions are there so have a look at them right so the first the very first internal question is who was gogol so please open your book on page 73 right page 73 of the chapter gogol's first day and that is who was gogol so can you can you tell me the answer have you found okay let me tell you still let me tell you and the very first introduction introductory lines have been given so please write gogol ganguly was a young bengali boy who was gogol gogol ganguly full name gogol ganguly was a young bengali boy who lived in america but you have to read who lived in america you have to write who lived in america because the question is in past tense okay and he was about to start going to school for the first time so these are first few introductory lines and here the answer is okay because the question is in past tense so you have to make these little changes let me repeat gogol ganguly was a young bengali boy who lived in america and he was about to start going to school for the first time okay now question number 2 what was the name of the principal you know gogol was taken to his new school on the first day by his father ashok ganguly so when they were outside the principal room what name was displayed over there so first second question please first of all note it down who was the principal means what was the name of the principal right and here it is para 2 paragraph 2 line number 
the name on the door says candes lapidus okay so how to write the answer the answer will be candes lapidus was the name of the principal let me repeat question is what was the name of the principal so we have to write candes lapidus was the name of the principal on the same page page number 73 okay now turn over the pages and come to the last page of this chapter page 76 page 76 and paragraph is 34 paragraph 34 okay so first of all write down your third internal question what happened at the end of the first day of google school what happened at the end of the first day of google school yes what happened over there when he was taken by his father so that we have, you have to write that we have to mention and you will find the answer to this question in the beginning of paragraph number 34 look at the answer at the end of his first day he was sent home because the question is in past so he is sent home instead of you have to write he was sent so at the end of his first day he was sent home with a letter to his parents from mrs lapidus his principal okay explaining that due to their son's preference he will be it will be changed into would be so he would be known as gogol at school so let me repeat the whole answer at the end of his first day he was sent home with a letter to his parents from mrs lapidus explaining that due to their son's preference he would be known as gogol at school okay student so i hope you have got these three questions so please learn them perfectly okay have a nice time thank you